In today's video, we're checking out this. It's the gas-powered Uni Coda pizza oven. Is it any good? Is it worth the money? And how is my attempt at making first pizza? So let's get this thing unboxed and uh, yeah, show you what it's all about. I hope this video finds you all well. I've given in and I've got myself one of these unis. So there's lots of videos on the internet about the, the uni, but uh, being a fan of pizza and uh, a friend at work has one of these, I decided to pick up the uni coda. This is the 12 inch one. So I'm gonna unbox it. I also got um, some of the accessories as well. So I've got the 12 inch uh, perforated pizza peel, uh, the, the pizza wheel cutter, and a uni coda carry cover. And uh, I got the gas version for a couple of reasons. I have a gas barbecue. I know it's not super authentic, but it's just easy. It just works. Do you want to cook something? Cook it on gas, not a problem. Also, I'm hoping that with the carry case, that this will be light enough and fold up enough that if I want to, I can take it uh, with me in my Hero Camper Ranger to cook pizza whilst um, we're away camping. So I'm going to unbox it. Um, show you what it looks like inside and then I think I've got to do kind of initial kind of heat run just to kind of get things uh, up to temperature. It's minus three degrees centigrade outside at the moment so well you know this is England we've got to deal with it. So um, i can unbox it and then uh, hopefully finish off the video uh, having a go at making my first pizza. I need to get some uh, flour and stuff and wait for some things to prove. But uh, yeah show you what's in the box and if it's any good or not. So pop these things to one side and we will adjust the camera as we go. So I thought now is actually not a bad time to buy um, one of these. I know uh, cooking outside isn't just for summer but traditionally that's when most um, companies have stock of things uh, but a few places have some discounts. I think I got this like uh, 40 pounds off so not a, a massive saving but a saving nonetheless. Um, so this particular one is normally about um, 300 pounds or 299 pounds uh, and again I think I got for 256. Um, I have seen it cheaper for like 239 um, but it just seems to kind of go out of stock super quick um, and I kept on missing out on that. So this is the box that it comes in but then there's another box inside so let's just fold it flat. Get it out. The Uni Coda 12 gas powered pizza oven. So let me move the camera a little bit and we'll have a look inside, see what's inside the box uh, and then kind of see how small or large the form factor is uh, and how we can kind of get cooking some pizzas. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's just gonna open up from the front here and then reveal to us what is inside. So let's show you the top. Okay, so welcome to the Uni community. So we can claim our free three year warranty when we register everything. It also recommends that we can download an app as well. Let's just pull this open. Okay, so a few things on the inside. We've got the box containing the stone uh, baking board. So we put that to one side, we'll have to pop that open in a minute. We have the Unicoda 12 manual. So we'll look into that, see what we need to do to do things properly. We then have the gas hose, which seems to be connected down there, and the regulator. So you have to make sure that your gas bottle is compatible with that. So that should be fine. Just move that to one side. And then here it is. So make some room on the table and we'll get the coder out. Okay, so this is it, it's out of the box. It's not super heavy, but not super light either. So um, we can see here underneath there are the collapsible legs. So we'll carefully remove it from the packaging. And we've got to be careful that this gas hose, again, it's a little hole in the end of the bag. Make sure that doesn't drag around and bang into everything. OK, 
Okay, so we can see these legs a little bit better now. So hold the bottom one out. The two at the front. And there we have it. So actually, it is a good size. And I think, obviously, it's not got the stone in it. We'll add, which obviously, we'll add a little bit of extra weight. Um, but I think it's going to fit in my Hero Camper and not too much of an issue uh, to lug around and take camping with us. So, yeah, a little bit of grease on there. But there's some box of stone, I'll pop that in there as well, and then we can uh, see what else we need to do by looking in the manual. So before I put the stone, I'll just turn it around to the back so you can see. This is where the gas control is. So a turnable knob, you push in to ignite and adjust the gas uh, just there. But again, out of the way. So um, I guess you just got to be careful you don't put it too close up to the back of a wall or a fence or something so you can't easily gain access to stuff. And you can see a little branding on the side, uni branding on the side and uh, on the front. So yeah, let's pop that stone in and uh, see if it's any good. Okay, so you see the stone there is pretty well packed. It comes with uh, some polystyrene either side, just like that. And you just pop it off. And so the one side is all plain, and then the other side we have the uni branding, and that literally just slides into there like that. There's little holes underneath the uni here where you can put your hands in to obviously you have to adjust that stone, get it in and out. And that has increased the weight a little bit, obviously, but still definitely carryable. And we'll see at the end. Um, what the uni, the uni code of cover is like in terms of uh, transporting it. So now let's have a little look in the manual and then we'll probably pop outside in the freezing cold and do the first burn. Okay, so one of the things uh, it says in the original safety manual is obviously to check all of the uh, connections and stuff, which I'll do when I get outside. But one of the things I probably will do is uh, change the, the hard fixed uh, gas pipe to a quick release connector so that it's both easy for me to connect and use at home also easy for me to connect uh, to my hero camper because I already have a regulator um, connected there that's connected straight out to a barbecue connection um, then it's this essentials guide that we want to look through and it says here about basically seasoning the uni coda before we kind of do our first cook on it so basically uh, heat it up to its maximum temperature uh, and then leave it for 30 minutes uh, cooking uh, to obviously just burn off any grease and anything that's in there from manufacturing uh, and then we should be be good so it gets up to about 500 degrees centigrade so the whole idea with the uh, oven is basically that you can you know, cook all some pizzas in it uh, but it should take depending on obviously outside temperature somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes to get up to cooking temperature that stone's going to be nice and hot so you don't get a soggy bottom uh, in terms of your pizza uh, and then really within 60 to 90 seconds the pizza should be done so it's got uh, obviously some information about the, the features of the uni uh, how to set it up how to extinguish and store it, which we'll cover off in a little bit. Uh, some recommended tools, obviously infrared thermometer and things, I have one of those in the workshop. Uh, you can also obviously not just do pizza in here, you can get cast iron skillets and things for doing steaks and vegetables and other things, which I may look at in the future. Um, and also then there is some recipes and things in here that you can try in terms of uh, different types of uh, pizza and dough recommendations and things as well. So we get onto that. Uh, in a moment, I'm pretty sure that um, my first pizza on this isn't going to be fantastic. It's going to be a new way of doing things. Uh, another thing that you may be able to do, um, a long time ago I had an electric pizza oven. Obviously it didn't get anywhere near as hot as this, uh, but if I was super, feeling super lazy, I could cook a frozen pizza you know, from the supermarket in there uh, and it would taste a little bit um, better being cooked in something like this. But let's go outside in the freezing cold. I need to grab a coat and a hat and... Uh, fire up for the first time. So please excuse the setup. During lockdown I did plan to build a um, barbecue den or shed but the, the cost of wood was extortionate and in the winter weather you can see my cover for my barbecue got completely wrecked um, and I just got this little table on the side where we're going to test the uni. So let me just show you how things are. So got it connected up to the gas just up the back in there and then basically what we're going to do is try and ignite it see how we get on so we've got the connector here at the back it 
Okay, I could hear it fire then. So that's at full full power and also you can turn it down to lower if you want to there. But let's go look around the front and see what it looks like. Blue flames right now. And obviously because these are the 12, um, there's only the, uh, the gas heating at the back. I think the 16 has it down the one side as well. So can I get my infrared thermometer? And we'll see you know, how, how it's doing, how it heats up. Also give you an idea of how hot it gets around the, the, the uni as well. Okay, so you can see there, I just did a little check on the table, minus 2.8. It's cold out here. And um, let's see, it's been on for about two minutes. It's not expecting much to have happened, but that's the center of the stone already at 134. So we'll see if that gets up to around 500. How long it roughly takes again so minus three outside it's looking pretty good so obviously whilst it's heating up i can feel heat protruding from the front because obviously that's open and that's uh, i guess one of the key differences also for, between the gas ones uh, and the pellet and wood ones obviously you need the, the front open there's no kind of front cover on these anyway if i touch the top actually the external top is you know cool to the touch so you're not going to burn yourself accidentally if you touch on the top and the sides as well and underneath even the underneath is uh, pretty cool as well let me turn the camera on and we can just use the infrared thermometer to get a rough idea of those temperatures so like I said here if we look on the outside 14.6 or 15 degrees centigrade on the outside on the top look at the side here 14.4 if you look at the table underneath if you remember before it was about minus 2.8 about 1.8 degrees centigrade so obviously it does get warmer under there um but nothing you're not gonna set your table on fire or anything so let's just have a little look again at the internal temperature at the middle 100 and it's just still going up So 200 in the middle right now, so just under halfway. Let's see how it goes. So as you can see, obviously as it's getting hotter inside, um, the external stuff is getting hotter as well. So um, <laughs> contrary to what I said earlier, you probably don't want to put your hands or anything on top. Definitely don't put your cheese on top. It will melt but uh, yeah slowly coming up to temperature now just have another quick look on the middle of the stone we are now at 250 so obviously because it's minus three outside it's going to take a while um for this to get up to temperature so i'm just going to pop inside for a few minutes come back out see if it's get up to about 500 and then we can just leave it for 30 minutes doing its thing so i've run into a problem with my uh infrared thermometer i should have checked this really um it seems to not read over 360, I think, is uh, where we get to. So we start out here. We put it in here in the middle. Hi. 330. It really is hot, actually. I think it's about to 370. It doesn't read any higher. Ah! So... <laughs> We'll see how that's going to work out for me. Um, so I'm going to guess it's probably about 400 now. It's probably been about 12, 12 to 15 minutes. So it's kind of in line with, with what it says. Um, so I'm going to leave it for 30 minutes. And then that should be done in terms of its seasoning. It says to leave it for an hour before you kind of pack anything away. Uh, there's no rain kind of forecast that just absolutely freezing there's no wind or anything um today so then hopefully the next part of this video uh, which you'll see in just a few seconds will be me actually trying to cook something uh, on this the other thing i just realized when i was having a look inside at the um cover 
it is actually uh, waterproof as well so that's going to be a little bit more handy still not going to obviously store the uni uh, outside in a non-covered or protected environment but at least it means that um, a little bit of extra protection especially when we're out camping um, that'll be good for us so yeah, not the, the most polished of videos uh, here on Spectrum Geeks but uh, hopefully uh, a first hand show of what you get in the box and then uh, we'll see if uh, cooking this thing's any good So that's it, the Uni Kona 12 inch pizza oven. I'm really actually happy with it. Yes, it's not cheap, um, but just that couple of pizzas that I made today with not a very good base tasted absolutely amazing. So I've got some dough mixing right now and to do like an overnight proof and then we'll try some more tomorrow. So brilliant, it'll be good for the waistline, but I really recommend uh, checking out the Uni Coda if you're interested in making pizzas at home. They taste absolutely brilliant. So thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you have done and consider subscribing, pressing the bell notification icon for other Spectrum Geeks videos. Different playlists, something for everybody hopefully. Uh, but until next time, take care for now. Goodbye.